Hey guys, welcome back to my normal Wednesday or Saturday review. This is going to be up a bit late because, you know, I was kind of celebrating National Star Wars Day. Well, it's it's pretty much National Star Wars Day or National Star Wars Weekend, you could say, because, you know. Um, but yeah, Star Wars The Last Jedi, let's get into it. So the good about this movie, a lot of the characters um, get paid their due, really. Ray has awesome moments. Luke has awesome moments. Chewie has awesome moments. Um, Kylo has awesome moments. Leo, or whoa, Leo, Poe, BB-8, you know, R2, CP-3O, um, you know, even Phasma, Hux, you know, everybody really gets paid their due, except for a few characters. We'll get into that in the good. Um, Luke and Ray's um, relationship in this movie um, is really awesome, and it gets me really, really interested in you know the Force Ghost stuff that's going to be happening in uh, happening in the Rise of Skywalker. How's that going to come into play? Because he was served as a great mentor to Ray, and you know Ray really respected him and everything, and really, really wanted his help. Um, as you can see in this movie. And you can tell that she generally really, uh, respects him. Um, the opening scene is really cool in this movie. Um, basically, a bunch of bombers are, tr uh, there's like a fleet of bombers that are trying to, you know, get back at the First Order for what they did to, uh, some of the other planets. Um, in the Force Awakens, um, and it pretty much goes horribly wrong, you know, Poe doesn't listen to, Le to Leia, it all works out, but still, I mean, come on now, they lost all their bombers, and, you know, this last woman, um, this is actually a really cool scene, this last woman makes a sacrifice, um, and, you know, falls, and just prays that the remote to the bomb setting it off is gonna, you know, um, work, and it does work, and, you know, they get back in the first order. Um, there is some really awesome creature work in this. The, 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 like, the white, like, wolf or gazelle looking things. That you see when Leia's closing the uh, the door, the big iron door, um, to the uh, friggin' hideout for the in the final act. Those look great. A lot of the um, the animals in the place that Finn and the other girl visit are really cool. Um, just hands down, a lot of great creature work in this movie. Even the the little Porgs, of course, the most iconic thing, and the thing that keeps Last Jedi merchandise selling. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, I really do like Last Jedi. You guys can go watch my Star Wars movie ranking video, and, and see that, you know, I have Last Jedi at, like, number th four, I think? Four, I believe. Um, but yeah. Ray and Kylo vs. Snoke's guards. That was a really, really awesome scene. And probably it was, it was, it's one of my favorite scenes in the new saga. In the new, um, set of Star Wars movies. Um, you know, it was just so well done the way, you know, Kylo kills Snoke. And they, you know, double team all those Praetorian guards, and Kylo's like, let the past die and everything, you know, have the whole thing from the trailer where he's like, join me, and, and man, it was super emotional and epic at the same time, and those Praetorian guards were actually really cool, and I actually regret selling a pop I had of them, because I really didn't think they'd be, like, a huge part of the movie, but they were actually, I mean, they weren't a huge part of the movie, but they were actually still a really cool, you know, add-on to it. And I thought, you know, the fight scene that involved them was probably my favorite fight scene in the movie. Um, next to the fight between um, Luke and Kylo at the end. Um, you know, where Luke and 
spoiler alert if you, you know, you're still here and you're trying to avoid spoilers, I don't know why you would be, but just in case, if you, uh, haven't seen the movie, you know, he, Luke dies, um, that was just a really cool little thing, um, to add into the movie. I wasn't expecting Luke dying, but, I mean, I'm okay with it. Because, you know, he's been alive for a long time. He's been a, a hero, you know, someone everybody can look up to. He'll always remain one of the best and most memorable Star Wars characters. Because he's always, like, when you see merchandising for Star Wars, Luke is normally on there. It's either Luke or Darth Vader, Chewie, you know, CB3, R2-D2, so yeah. Now, the bad about this film, the real is isn't that much, but there is some. Um, there's a character named Rose in this movie, and this is not being sexist at all. I am fully supportive of women actors, Gal Gadot, Margot Robbie, Lauren Cohan, Kira Knightley, um, you know, Zoe Saldana, Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlett Johansson, Brie Larson, all of them. I love all of those actors, all those female actors. Um, but Rose was just really, it, it's almost like she was written out of nowhere. It was like, they took the movie, right? They had the movie all done, and then they just wanted to add a bit more, I don't know, like, running time to it or something. So you're like, you know what, let's add in this one character and have her go do stuff with Finn. And, no, man, it just didn't work. She's like, written so so out of nowhere. It's like she enters the movie out of nowhere and I th I'm pretty sure she died, but still, man, her send-off wasn't even that good because yes, she was trying to prevent Finn from dying. But honestly, I would have rather had Finn die than have the risk of like Leia and Rey and all of them dying. She should have really been thinking about Leia and Rey and all all those. Literally everybody inside of the bunker was going to die, on or was going to have to you know run and possibly die, unless Finn, you know, exploded that ship, went into the ship and blew up. But no, at the last minute, Rose's character just written out of nowhere comes out of nowhere. Stops him and then prevents, um, the, you know, prevents the ship from being destroyed. And they break open the bunker, so now they have to run. Uh, I didn't even get to the other two things, because I just rambled about Rose. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, hey, um, and may the 4th be with you. This is National Star Wars Weekend. Um, I might have another Star Wars video out, but thank you all for watching.